Hello, my name is Matthias. In today's video, we're actually going to be taking an offset in one question that I found in the community forum that you can see here. Uh, it's listed by Reddy Radioc, I guess his name is. Um, he's saying that he has a problem with a repetitive task that he needs to perform. Uh, he's saying I have a I have a I have to program a flow which has to open an Excel worksheet and take some info from there. The problem is that it has to be done every day for a different Excel example. Today the data has to be taken from Excel worksheet and then today's date. He's saying that if he fails this because he can set it up and then he can basically run it for today but then tomorrow uh, it will crash because the Excel worksheet will change a uh, date. So I actually thought that that was a good little exercise for us to do uh, just to showcase how we can do that with Power Automate. Uh, so the before we get started, as I normally do, I'll just pull off paint just to in brief explain what needs to be done. So we know, at least that's what we assume, that the workbooks that we have to access and do something in, it doesn't specify what it is, but whatever it is that we need to do, we need to access workbooks or Excel sheets and they all have a similar format. So we could imagine that the Excel files are being downloaded from another system and then gets pushed into a folder. And then in that folder is then where this guy Radioc uh, needs to perform some of his actions and he wants to uh, automate that. So we assume that all the uh, files are called something along the lines of this, which means that the file for tomorrow will be called something like this and so on and so forth. Um, with that, we can fairly easily actually set a variable and then launch Excel uh, referencing referencing that variable. And then from here, per perform actions, whatever it is that we need. So, so we'll make a new flow. We'll just call it folders example forum. And again, I can't spell, but that's besides the point. So we, what we want to be doing is utilizing a, a very smart feature that I really like to use uh, in Power Automate, which is called get current date and time we can use that and manipulate the hell out of it so we're going to be doing that um, we know that from the uh, post that it's formatted as some sort of name so let's just call it this excel worksheet and then underscore and this must end because it's the 4th of july hey today uh, it's formatted as underscore fourth underscore seven underscore and then the year. So with that in mind, we can fairly easily convert this. So we'll use convert date time to text. And what we want to convert is just the current date time. So we can do that like that, or we simply just select the variable here. It's the only variable we have in the flow. And then we don't want to use standard standards boring. Instead, we want to create something ourselves. So we know that it has a name and then it said underscore date, underscore month, underscore year. So we can simply just create that format by saying underscore date, date, underscore month with big. So we'll do a big underscore year, 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 year. That's it. So we'll save that also as formatted date time. Let's call it formatted date because it's actually not time just for housekeeping um, and with that in mind we will then we will use the functionality set variable so now we want to make the variable so we can continue when we launch the excel we can continue to depending on when the flow runs to open that excel file um, based on whatever date it is so what we were doing is giving it the name and this could be whatever but let's just call it Excel worksheet because that's also what is in the uh, post. And then we'll say 
reference to a variable and we do that by by entering these two and then we'll say formatted date dot xlsx because that's the um, excel handle um, so that we know Ah, I cannot spell. I was going crazy with that. Formatted date. Yes, that's why maybe sometimes it is easier to just select it here. But the other thing is cooler. So I like to do that. Um, and then, before we do anything else, let's just display a message. Uh, testing flow. And then let's just show when we run the when we run the flow in just a second just to be sure just to make sure that we actually get the um, the right variable set so we're just referencing the new variable which is what we created we haven't changed that so now it should get the current date and time of today's date which is the 4th of July convert it into a different kind of format and then set that as part of the variable and then when we display the message we should get if I've done it correctly, we should get something that looks exactly like this. So let's see. Excel worksheet underscore no, 0 uh, 04 underscore 07 underscore 2024.xslx. Perfect. And then from here, we should be able to just use the launch Excel action. And then we don't want to open a blank document. Obviously, we want to now open uh, the document that's referencing uh, the day of the or the day um, of the file. And we do that by going into our full structures, and I just put it here uh, as an example. So these are the last couple of days of files, and they're located here. They could be located wherever. But what we need to do is to then take the folder structure here and copy it. I'll just show it here. I'll copy it and then I'll paste it in. And what we then need to do is then add a backslash and then reference the new variable that we just made. We should probably have changed this to a different name, but we haven't and it doesn't matter. Um, and then we press save. So now the idea is that when we run this flow tomorrow, the date time will update. That will mean a new variable variable will be inserted, and that variable is referenced here in the document path, meaning that it will then open tomorrow's file, basically. And there you can see it opens up the file. So we had the display message also in um in the flow still that's not necessary obviously that was just a test on our side to see that we had it had it correctly but what it then does is just to um get the current di current current date and time change it around set it to the variable and then use that variable when opening the excel file Boop. nice and easy and from here you can then you can actually watch one of my other videos where i start manipulating excel worksheets uh, with keys and shortcuts you can do all kinds of stuff you can also simply just take the file and send it in a mail whatever it might be um, the f the guy on the forum doesn't actually specify anything uh, in relation to that so I won't go into detail with that but I'll um, I'll end this video here and post it here in the, in the forum also for him to hopefully um, have his problem solved that's it for today thanks see you in the next one